When in January I heard this noise, my heart sunk, but I wasn't prepared for what came after it. This was just the beginning. Five months later, we are still struggling with the consequences of what they did to the forest. In a little bit, I will show you how everything has been turned upside down and destroyed. Everybody is pretty stressed around here at the moment. But let's start on a more positive note so we can take our minds away from this moment for a little bit. This weekend, we're going on an adventure. We will drive all the way to Slovenia to see one of the most amazing natural wonders we have in Europe. Curious? Let's go. We're driving to a tiny town called Matavun and from there to the Skoczanske Jame, the Scotian Caves. These caves are listed in the UNESCO World Heritage as a natural monument and here there's one of the biggest underworld canyon in the world. I was a speleologist when I was younger and I saw a lot of caves, but when I got here, I was speechless. The view is truly breathtaking. Through these caves runs the biggest Slovenian river. Its name is Reka, and that means river. It was first explored at the beginning of the 19th century and it's full of suspended bridges, narrow pathways, and an amazing and almost terrifying view. The only soundtrack you can hear while walking in the caves is the water rushing through, and the echo that it makes is really deafening. The underground walk takes you through five kilometers of wonder, some in complete darkness, and some towards blinding lights. The sun is setting, so let's call it a night. But tomorrow I will take you to the forest so you can see the disaster with your own eyes. And a new day begins. It's beautiful outside. And before I go and get some pictures for the letter of complaints we are writing to the newspapers about the situation in the forest, we'll quickly finish the workshop table. Time to complete the job. Every tool has been placed carefully on the same level so the table will function as a support when we cut food. This way we will not need any prop of the right thickness every time we have to hold the, the wood pieces leveled. It's gonna be useful just having it on wheels, cause that way you can move it around as needed.
And now, let me show you the sad part. In January, the power company decided it was time to clean a bit around the power line. So they cut a lot of trees. Let me walk you through the forest. And this is what I was talking about last time when I was saying that I don't think this is the right season for doing the cleaning along the electricity line uh, because they took down all this tree and a lot more down the road and the animals are still in their winter sleep and the winter is actually back it looked like spring till a week ago now it's full of rain uh, full of snow sorry and like they took down all the trees and with them all the nests and you know the hiding place where they put the nuts like if we're talking squirrels and so i just think it was not really thoughtful and that's how they always do works around here they just decide okay let's let's do this now and they took down trees that have like i think a hundred years and without even thinking about it and who knows who was living up there and i'm i'm just really upset about this i know i'm probably i sound silly because there's so many trees around here but i just i think they need to think a little bit better when they decide to do this kind of works of course, safety reason I'm sure were the first things in their mind, but let's be honest. Trees have been fallen thinking how much it could have been worth on the market, more than if they were a truly danger for the power lines. We've always had some logging company coming up to get some wood, but beside the stump of the trees they left, that would signal that they've been there, you could barely see any traces of their passages. This time, whoever got the job destroyed the whole place. This is a picture I took last year and this is the same spot now. I think there is a stark difference. This is gonna be a problem, especially when the rain season comes and this spot will become almost impossible. We have lots of uh, natural small waterways that form during the rain season and now they're all blocked or full of debris and that will cause some issue, especially when the water will start to push it. Beside my concern for nature and safety, I think what they did is despicable. If you want to know more about what's happening around here head on to these videos and until next time take care ciao